This six-storey townhouse in central Paris was owned by Guinean Vice President Théodore Obiang, along with a fleet of fast cars and valuable artworks. Those assets have been seized by French prosecutors, who say they were bought with money stolen from his home country's public funds. The house alone is worth 107 million euros, a thousand times his official salary. Obiang has now been handed a three-year suspended sentence for embezzlement and ordered to pay a 30 million euro fine. Equatorial Guinea is a rich country and what we want Africans to see today is that people in power in rich countries will no longer be able, we hope, to keep poaching like thieves in their country's public funds in contempt of their populations. Equatorial Guinea insists the house was a diplomatic mission and says the French justice system is meddling in the affairs of a sovereign state. There is no public money embezzlement. The state of Equatorial Guinea contests this offence and no one else but the state of Equatorial Guinea is in a position to say if there was an offence committed against its interests or not. Certainly not a French court. This is the first of several corruption cases against current or former African leaders to come to trial in France and it's an important symbolic victory for transparency campaigners. The idea is that this case will send a strong message to other African leaders that their financial affairs will not escape the French justice system. There are two other ongoing investigations here, one into the family of former Gabonese President Omar Bongo and another into the wealth of the Republic of Congo President Denis Sassou Nguesso. Elena Casas, CGTN, Paris.